Welcome to week 34, Future Opportunities and Florida. There are real estate investment opportunities all over the country. And while Chris and his clients continue to invest and expand their business in Ohio, he has gotten very excited about Florida. Over the next few years, Chris and his investor clients will be devoting a substantial amount of time and resources to investing in the space coast of Brevard County. Now you're probably wondering how Florida factors into the story. Every year, Chris and his wife Kelly make it a point to visit the Disney Vacation Club Resort, located about 30 miles south of Melbourne Beach on A1A. They loved vacationing in the area, but never thought much about investing or working there. And then a long-term team member relocated to West Melbourne for her husband's career. She continued working with Chris from Florida, and in 2014, he realized that they were living just north of his favorite resort, and that their community was full of opportunity. The area got hit hard during the recession, but bounced back like very few other areas in the country. The more Chris learned, the more excited he got. Let's look at the trends. Brevard County home values have gone up 10.6% over the past year, and Zillow predicts they will rise 4.8% within the next year. The median home value is $164,900. Melbourne, Florida is a great place for Roost's current and future clients to expand their portfolio of rental properties. As of September 2016, Roost had nine properties under management and continues to expand. We have licensed property managers in Florida and run accounting operations from our main office in Springfield. Chris and his team are slowly moving into the booming vacation rental market. We are working with one home on Cocoa Beach and another two miles inland. Cocoa Beach's proximity to the Orlando theme parks makes it very appealing, and they aggressively market themselves as Orlando's Beach. Once we work the kinks out of this new operation, we anticipate expanding the service. Chris has put together six Space Coast case studies, demonstrating both rental incomes and land contract sales. All of these are available at this week's bonus download, so be sure to check those out. See you next week for the final installment of Chris's story.